<laughs> yo, 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 guys, this is Jacob here, and I know what you're thinking. Who is this rapist? No, just kidding. You're thinking, oh my god, he hit puberty? And, well, like, uh, sure, why not? Uh, I know, my, my voice is deeper now. My, I, I, wa I went back and watched my old video, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> I have to do an updated version of that because I sound like a like a ten year old. Uh, so here I am. Now uh, this is obviously a second uh, video on how to do pixel art with Microsoft Paint, and it's gonna be pretty much the same except for a little thing at the end that I want to show you. Um, so really for this you're only going to need uh, two programs, a web browser and a uh, obviously Microsoft Paint. Um, so first, when you're ready to get started, go ahead and go to your web browser, whatever you use, and go to Google Images. And then what you want to type is GRID, G-R-I-D, four letters, not so hard, nothing special. Press enter or press the search button. And it will bring you to a metric shit ton of grids and lines and even a video game, I don't even know. Uh, the one I would recommend using is this one right here, this 1600 by uh, 1000 one, because that's the biggest one and it's the easiest one to do it on. Um, so, yeah, once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and save that. You can exit out of your web browser, you're done with that. And save it wherever you want. I saved it to my uh, pictures. And then go ahead and go to your. Uh, paint uh, program and I'm gonna slide my recording bar right over here and then you're just gonna go click the drop down go open and find wherever you saved it and double click it or just click it and press open and there you go you have a big butthole grid next you're gonna want to go to your fill bucket so let select whatever color you want I'll just use green for this and bang, 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 bang. <sighs> yep. Bob's your uncle. There you go. You can now do pixel art with MS Paint. And it was very simple. Now, one point that I did not get across in the last video was that you cannot press Control G. That only brings up a transparent grid. So, if I were to uh, exit out of this grid, which I will do right now, and let's redo this, and there's the grid again, you'll see if I get the fill bucket, get black. And if I fill, if I try to fill one of these squares in, it is not a literal grid. It's just to plan out where you want things, and so yeah. So that does not work. Um, if you do it my way, it will work, and it's much simpler. So, yeah. Um, next thing is, if we go ahead and open up our grid again. Here we go. I'll just say, um... Here we go. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Now I'll just go high. And an exclamation mark. There we go. Okay. Now once you're done uh, drawing what you want to draw, or pixelating what you want to pixelate, or you know, whatever you whatever you're done with, you can actually make your grid disappear. That's right. If you select the color that the background is, which is white for me, you can go like this. Oh, that's the wrong color. You just make them disappear very slowly kind of. Um, it doesn't work with this grid for some reason, which sucks, so, eh, there we go. Um, but, another thing you can do if you don't want to do that, you can just take your eraser and just erase them, erase the lines. Yeah, it's very inefficient. Alright, just one last thing before you go, guys. I have a gaming channel called Nog Games, and if you head over there on the YouTube, eh, give it a subscribe, and if you like what you see, uh, keep watching. Uh, I put out videos daily, so why not? 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Joseph, uh, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior? No? It will only take a moment. <laughs>